Hi, Seymour. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you, Roger. How about you? I'm good, thanks. That smell from the kitchen is driving me crazy. It smells delicious in here. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Ah, uh, made a glass of Chianti, if you don't mind. That sounds great, thank you. What the hell? I burned my mascarpone torch. All right, let me think. I could try, uh, making another one, or maybe just order some ice cream for tonight. I need to be more careful in the future. Uh, this is ridiculous. Well, at least my guests aren't here yet, so I have some time to figure this out. Maybe I'll even try something new and impress them with a different dessert. I can't believe this. Ah, uh, this is the last thing I needed today. Ed, uh, I hate when things like this happen. It just ruins the whole day but I won't let it get me down. I'll fix this and make sure everything else goes perfectly. I need to be more careful in the future. This is getting ridiculous. All right, enough complaining. Time to get to work and fix this mess. Damn it all to hell. Looking out the window, Skinner sees Cadbury's chocolate bars stacked outside and decides to use them as a replacement for the burnt mascarpone torta. He thinks aloud about how to obtain the chocolate bars and climb back in through the window. One Cadbury's chocolate bar for one burnt mascarpone torta. Not a bad substitute if I do say so myself. As he ponders his plan, Skinner's frustration boils over. My God, how many more burnt fucking foods can one man endure? He mutters to himself. He knows that replacing the torta with Cadbury's chocolate bars is a good solution, but he can't help feeling annoyed at the inconvenience. In the end, Skinner decides to go through with his plan and climbs out the window to obtain the chocolate bars. He replaces the burnt torta with the chocolate bars climbs back in through the window, and sighs with relief. Well, that's one crisis averted, he says to himself. Skinner, do you notice that smell of burning? Oh, yeah. I think something's on fire. Is everything okay? I think it's just the cookies. Uh, they seem a bit burnt. Well, maybe next time you should pay attention to your cooking instead of your dancing. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to juggle while making dinner next time. I can't wait to see that. Skinner, this meal is wrong. What do you mean? I thought it was the right one. Thanks for thinking outside the box, Skinner. Really? You don't think it's because I messed up and bought the wrong dessert? Yeah, I don't care either way. Uh, let's just enjoy the dinner. Fire in the kitchen! What's going on? It's probably just a mystery airship. Don't worry about it. A uh, mystery airship in the kitchen? That doesn't make sense. Can we at least see what's going on? I can't let you see. It has to do with Snapcube and the Sonic real-time fan dubs. You can't be serious. How could a mystery airship happen in the kitchen? But I, I appreciate the mascarpone torta, Skinner. It was delicious. But I can't help but notice the house burning down. Oh, that. It's probably just a mystery airship. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not so sure. It seems too strange to be just an airship. Well, maybe it is. 
But let's not worry about it right now. Let's talk about something else. Like what? Have you heard about Snapcube and the Sonic real-time fan dubs? They're pretty cool. It's not really my thing, Skinner. I think I'll head out now. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. Goodbye.